be tr trying to cross his fingers and hope that he gets through there. Here's uh, Guarneri and Martin and Ferrandis all over the back of Martin now, making a challenge. So this could be taking a vital point away from Team USA and putting one back on the table for Team France. We are locked together in the classification on 12 points apiece here. So this could be a vital point, Jeff. Oh, this is such an important battle here going on. And I noticed as Martin uh, jumped down that triple step up, he came short uh, on, on the third jump, which have really uh, taken a hard impact, hard landing there. So, but I would imagine that at this point that uh, the excitement of the race, the adrenaline is taking over and uh, he's not worried about the foot. He's focused on passing number seven here, oh. David Guarneri. And Guarneri just legging his way through there. Made a mistake, got on the gas a little too early. The front just washed away as well. And Martin going to have another chance to find a way past the Italian, who went wide last time and repeats the move. And Martin down the inside is going to run it alongside and maybe get out early. Uh, coming out of this final corner, back down to turn two. You see how hard the 250s are having to work, though. This is where Martin crashed yesterday. Caught one of these holes and got lost. See how tentative he is there little, as well. A little more tentative, but he definitely has a smart line through there. And this race, the Motocross of Nations, knowing that you have teammates relying on you, that you're riding for your country, uh, late in these motos, you just seem to find an extra level of energy, uh, an extra level of uh, fight in you. And that's what we're seeing out of these three riders here. And remember, this is for 9th, 10th, and 11th. This isn't even for the for the moto win. But it depends on this sure. in terms of general classification. Two lap board just goes out. Gauthier Paul and over the line in front of us. But this battle here is intense between Guarnieri of Italy, Martin on a 250, number five, the AMA 250 champion, and Dylan Ferrandis, the French guy, also on a 250, looking to make a move through. Yeah, now that, that left-hand corner that they just came through, Martin's going to have to think about making a different choice next time around because he chose the outside to get out of uh, Guarneri's roost, but that allowed uh, Ferrandis to close up, and he lost uh, space on uh, Guarneri, but now Martin trying to use a little momentum around the outside. Could they come together? Ferrandis oh. having the tight line as well for France, number 14, so every time that uh, Martin goes wide, he's got to have one eye on what's going on behind him. And he's doing just that. This is a horrible little kicker through here. Wow. We've got two laps to go. We've got Paulan leading by six seconds. Dungey for USA is second. Third is Nagel of Germany. Fourth, Tonkov of Russia, who did a great job leading for such a while. Fifth is Van Horvick of Belgium. Sixth is uh, Bengston. He's, uh, seventh is Koldenoff of the Netherlands. Self, eighth, Guarneri, nine, Martin, ten, Ferrandis, eleven, and Simpson still hanging in there at twelve. Paul, now you can see Martin here, number five on the blue Yamaha riding for the USA is starting to choose those inside lines. He doesn't have the luxury of searching outside to see if it, he, a different line will work because of the pressure of the French rider, Dylan Ferrandis, number 14, coming up from behind. And he made a big mistake at the entry to the pit lane straight there. Ferrandis, he lost three or four bike lengths. He's lost that, so he's going to have to go again here to get back on the rear wheel. How far was that? He was almost through the front door. Jeremy Martin, he cannot afford another crash, Jeff. Not at this stage of the race. Not in this stage of the weekend, either. Let's see, again. separate line choice. Guarneri starting to look over his shoulder. That was Possibly running out of gas physically. Oh, and Martin goes wide again. Remember, this was not good for him last lap around. And Ferrandez pulls up next to him. It's a drag race. And he's going to scrub his way through. He's got the inside through this uphill sweep as well, and suddenly a point being taken away from the Americans. France take a point back from Jeremy Martin, and he's still got to work hard to get through here, and I'm sure Martin would have tried to retaliate in this bottom corner at the top of the end of the circuit, but suddenly, oh, Ferrandis has to jump short again as uh, Guarnieri jumps long, and suddenly here, Ferrandis is in the insurgency, and he is going after this point here from Guarneri, and that will put two points between him and an American rider in terms of the top of the classification. Yeah, so now our points, they were tied at 12 before this pass. Now they come past the Monster Energy finish line. That's going to give France 11 and USA up to 13, so a two-point gap. Let's see if Jeremy Martin has some fight left in him to take that position back from the 14, Dylan Ferrandis of France. Guarneri, on the other hand, has had pressure all the way around, has been ho holding on for dear life as these two uh, 250 riders, MX2 classification, have been really showing uh, some great talent and serious desire. Look at the line there from Ferrandis. No bumps going into that right-hand turn. And there's a, sm a smarter, smoother option going in, but he just makes the corner a little bit tighter. as. A